Hey guys, we're going to now add the JavaScript and jQuery to make this game come to life. So we want to go to our script and make sure that the document's ready. Okay, and we want to set our initial variables of x, and that's going to be equal to the actual letter x. Same thing with O. It's going to be equal to O. And we're also going to have a variable called turns. And that's going to be set to zero. Okay, and turns is going to keep track of our turns. Okay, so a person will go, this will be one, the next person goes two, all the way up to nine. Okay, now we want to add a click function for the board list item. Okay, so we'll say jQuery and then uh, board li. And I'm going to do a dot on. You can do dot click if you want. And function. Okay, let's just make sure that this is working. All right, good. So basically what we need to do here is to check for a row of three. Okay, so we wanna check if zero, if uh, spot one, two, and three all have zeros, or spot one, um, four, and seven, or one, five, and nine. Okay, so we're gonna check those combinations. Okay, so let's go ahead and write if, And then this is going to be quite a statement. Okay, so we're going to check. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put all our spots into variables. Okay, so we'll say variable spot one is equal to spot one. Just a it'll look a little bit neater. Okay. So let's see, two. So let's check to see if spot one dot has class zero. All right. And whoops. And spot one, I'm sorry, spot two dot has class. O and spot three dot has class O. Okay, we know that if this is true, then O is going to be the winner. All right. So we need to do all combinations. So we're gonna just stick on the end here in or. All right, and I'm just gonna copy this here. Okay, so another combination would be four, five, and six. So spot four, five and six. Okay, another combination would be seven, eight, nine. Okay, um, one, four, and seven. So one, 
4 and 7. And what else? We have 2, 5, and 8. 2, 5, and 8. And uh, 3, 6, 9. This is quite a few. Okay, and I'm going to copy this. And we got one, five, and nine. One, five, nine. And finally, three, five, and seven. Three, five, seven. Now, if this is true, then we're going to alert. All right, and we're going to say winner is all. Okay, and then we got to do a few more things. We want to change, let's see, board li dot text. Okay, we're just going to set to the plus. All right. Actually, I'd like to use single quotes. All right, so set that, set all the list times to plus. We want to remove the disable class. So li dot remove class disable, and we want to remove all the x's and o's as well. I want this. Okay, remove class O and X. All right, so now we want to test the same thing with X's. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. All right, and Right here, we're going to say else if. Actually, I'm just going to paste this. Okay, so else if spot one. Okay, we want to change these to X's. So let's do this the easy way. We'll do a search replace X. Okay, find next. Okay, so then if this is true then the winner will be X. And again, we want to remove disable O and X. All right, and then we're going to add another else if. Okay, and this if is going to say if turns is equal to nine. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this. Then we're going to just alert tie game. Whoop. Tie game. Okay, not only that, but we're going to set the turns to zero. Okay, and then we're also going to put another else if. So this whole script is basically a bunch of else ifs. Okay, we're going to check and see if this, uh, we want to see if this dot has class disabled, then we want to send an alert. 
Okay, and we're just going to say this spot is already filled. So now we're going to check to see if uh, whose turn it is, and we can do that by checking to see if the turns is an even number or not. All right. So we're going to say else if. Okay, so turns, and then we're going to use the percent sign, 2. And we're going to say if that's equal to 0, and we want to increment the turns variable. Okay, and then we're going to set this dot text, this dot text to the O variable. Okay, and then we also want to add the disable class and the O class. Okay, so this dot add class. Okay, and we're going to add disable because the turn has been taken. And oh, so that, whoops, I keep putting zero. So that it's green. All right, and then we're going to do the check again. We're going to run this check again to see if zero uh, has the winning positions. Okay, I'm going to grab this, put this in here. Okay, so we're just going to do another alert if O wins. Okay, winner is O, and then we're going to set the turns to zero. Okay, and we'll say else. And I'm going to grab from here to here, and I'm going to do the same for X. Okay, so this dot text x okay we're going to add class disable and x and then all of these need to be x so we're going to do this the easy way um, edit I mean search replace okay let's see find next replace just replace all these with x's All right. Okay, and then the alert, the winner is going to be X. I should actually make these capital, these winner. Actually, that should have been X down here. I mean, there are other ways of, of course, there's other ways of building this uh, tic-tac-toe game. Um, you might want to put everything in a function and do some looping, uh, but I don't want to get too complicated. I just want to keep try to keep it simple. Is it the prettiest code? No, but it's going to work. All right, so the last thing we want to do is the reset handler. Okay, so we want to go, we want to go down here. Okay, so we want to get the reset ID, and we're going to say dot on click function. Okay, and we're going to grab the board li and set the text. Uh, actually, we can just copy up here. We already have this code. Just grab this. And we also want to set the turns to zero. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so we're getting unexpected token on 25. And that's because our last check here, we have an or, okay? We can't have that uh, right here too. Yeah, all these. You wanna get rid of the last or state, the uh, or operator. Okay, line 95, which is this. You know what, I think we may have, there's so many curly braces in this code, uh, we may have an issue. You know what, I think one of these goes up here. Eighty-six, which is this. Oh, all right. So we need a curly brace right here as well. That should be all right. So save that. Okay, reload. Okay, let's win. Okay, winner. O. Reset game works. All right, good. So it seems to work. Uh, oh, one thing, it's it's not it's letting us click on one that's already there. So something's wrong there. And I see what's wrong here. We have had if has class disabled. This should be disabled, not no D on the end. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. It's already been filled. All right, so that's it. I will try to clean up this code a little bit for the for the program files. Feel free to mess around with it. It's basically a starting point for um, a more functional game. So hope you learned something and thanks for watching.